You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. So prevention. How do you prevent it? Fruits. Okay. Huge one. Um, it's one of the things we see a lot in, um, uh, you know, in people that have that smoke and then also get cancer or lung cancer is they have they, they don't like fruits and vegetables, mm. you know. And this is so typical. I hear this all the time. Mm. We'll speak to patients and we'll say, um, you know, so what's your diet like? Oh, my diet's great. Okay, well, here's the foods that will prevent your cancer. Oh, I hate all of those foods. <laughs> and here's the foods that will cause your cancer. Oh, I love those foods. <laughs> It's just classic, you know, uh, and so if you have I, the information, teach yourself to like the foods that are going to prevent the cancers mm -hmm. you don't want to get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or maybe find ways like, um, you know, shakes or Make you know, it interesting. supplements yeah. or something like that yeah, to get, exactly. get them in easily. Exactly. So fruits and vegetables, sure. huge preventative factors there. Okay. Berries, probably one of the biggest factors in preventing lung cancers is berries. Mm. And um, we went over phase one and phase two enzymes, but I think we should probably do a video just on that alone. <laughs> um, so as you know, berries um, inactivate, they have these plant phytochemicals um, that are able to inactivate uh, the damage done by uh, free radicals. And free radicals are caused by the breakdown of many carcinogens mm -hmm. and uh, xenobiotics, as we call them, drugs and so on. Um, anything with a hydrocarbon ring um, can be broken down into a epoxide, which is uh, very damaging to DNA and causes mutations. Mm -hmm. And so berries increase the level of phase two enzymes, which help break down this um, epoxide intermediate. Mm -hmm. So that's an important, um, important thing. Um, fresh herbs are important, uh, daily exercise, mm. and the latest one is yogurt and fiber together. Mm. So this, once again, is, is opening up the door to this fascinating area of research called the microbiome. Mm. And once again, a highly diverse microbiome is very protective against diseases like heart disease and cancers, mm -hmm. but specifically with cancers. And a less diverse uh, microbiome um, is going to be uh, causative and create, or you know, creates a lot of processes that leaves you more vulnerable. Leaves you very sensitive mm -hmm. to cancer development. Mm -hmm. And so, a recent study um, looked at yogurt and fiber because yogurt is a source of uh, probiotics. And so, when you combine yogurt, a source of probiotics, mm -hmm. with fiber, mm -hmm. which is the food of probiotics. Um, um, Bacterial diversity really likes fiber okay. and it seems to, um, I'm not sure of the exact mechanism, hmm. but um, it seems to be something that really promotes bacterial diversity, hmm. species diversity. Hmm. And so this combination of yogurt and fiber actually reduced the risk of lung cancer by 33%. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, that's huge. 33%. 33% reduced risk of lung cancer. Hmm. And that's in smokers and people at risk. Wow. So just, so nothing else, just adding more fruit, um, yogurt with fiber. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yogurt so I might have, every day. so I might have some toast and, uh, and some yogurt and, and that's yogurt, my, so the yogurt, or fruit, because so, fruit has so fiber. So the yogurt with berries and, uh, bran and fiber. Breakfast. Or granola kind of thing. Or granola breakfast. Yeah. You know, porridge breakfast. 33% so reduction I, in your chance of getting so lung cancer. And so, interesting enough, that's kind of uh, a diet that we see a lot of in people that do smoke a lot and don't eat or don't yeah. get cancers for right. a long time. So, maybe that's what you're saying. What's the Churchill, Burns, George Burns? Burns. <laughs> so we never know. You never okay. know. Okay. Yes. Okay, so fresh herbs, berries, yogurt, and fiber. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.